Hello everyone, and today we are back for another Lumion Legacy Showcase video. And today, we're going to be showcasing Shianta yet again. But we're going to be running a very brawny set with power cuffs. And I know what you all are thinking. Josh, this thing is 115 speed. Run a very nimble set. Well, you kind of don't need very nimble when you're running two priority moves. I think you all know what set I'm running. I'm running the Sharp Claws, Power Cuffs, Brawn Boost set with Light Dash and Quick Pounce. Quick Pounce to hit Plant Types and Light Dash to hit those Pesky Spirit and Dark Types. And I have Mega Punch as a coverage move, plus it's there to hit Metal Types. And these are the TPs, 44 in the Energy makes us use 7 Priority Moves and 2 Brawn Boosts. And 200 in the Melee Attack, 56 in the Range Defense combined with Tender makes our Range Defense higher than its Melee. And the 200 speed is actually useful for it to speed creep nimble to clips. So that's very good to speed creep nimble to clips. The team I have around Shanta is Boots Graptana, Murray, Charonix, Scampy because Scampy's a god, Tartiki to get rid of barbs, and Zeflin just as well get rid of barbs and be a stall breaker. So out of the way, let's see how Shanta does in battle. All right, we're into battle number one with Priority Shianta. And this battle is hit or miss. There was one Lumion I kind of didn't want to see for the video. I didn't want to see Chironix at all because that thing just flat out walls this set. So, yeah, hopefully he doesn't know that I'm the Priority set. I'll bring you because you look awesome. Sorry, I had a pop-up. I'll bring Zeflin for the this thing. And the last thing I should bring... I don't know, out of these, I don't know who to bring out of these. I think I'll bring you, so I can batting ram everything, although there is a Yarsnack. So I guess I'll bring I'll bring you, and I'll lead off with Zeflin on the Dokamare. That'll be what I do. It won't be Mocho. Of course it's Mocho. Of course it's Mocho. Thankfully... We do have something that can beat it, though. So I am going to go into my... I'm going to go into my... Mareith. Because Mareith beats Mocho. And if it uses its item right away, it's perfect. I can go for Shatter as well. And get Barbs up. Peace of mind. Icicle Traps. Really? This is your Icicle Traps, Lumion. And I didn't bring Chartiki... Because I was like, huh, his Icicle Traps Lumion is Dokamore. Well, didn't see that one coming. And he set up a peace of mind, Autumn Array. Autumn Array. You can't hit Murray. Also, of course, I missed my attack. I'm about to get rid of Shatter just to run Dark Surge or something. Because apparently I can never hit him. Now he's going Shironix. Yeah! Oh no, Dokamore comes in. At least I got that up, but it's going to get Spine Break up as well. Oh, actually, it doesn't. Uh, I'll go for a Zeppelin Swap in then. I don't think he had any air types. I just want to get rid of these, because these things stink. I don't like these Icicle Traps at all. Goes for an Earthquake. Did he have any air types? I don't remember. I don't remember him having any air types. So I'm just going to go for Mudslide. Yep, get a mudslide off. I can actually damage Dokomori. That's good. Dokomori's now low enough for my Shianta after Brawn Boost. Thing is, Dokomori is not the threat. The threat is that Tyronix. So, I need to find a way to beat that Tyronix. At least I got these up. I got a layer of barbs up, which is good. So, if there's any clutch plushies, everything that comes in is going to take a little bit of damage. There's a Cleone. That's fine. Again, I have a good matchup with just going into Murray here. Mareif can just come in. And I don't even care if he goes Tyronix, because this set beats Tyronix. He just sets up a far enchantment. That does kind of stink, but it's not the end of the world. We just go for Shatter. Do a little bit of damage. So he does have screens. I've been noticing a lot of people using screens recently, which is awesome to see. I love seeing more screens, because screens can be very fun to try out if you have the right team. And thankfully, I also hit my Shatter, which is awesome. It's probably going to go for Dissipate, so I'm just going to go for a rest, get my energy back. Cleone can't really hit Murray. Yeah, he swaps out into your snap. I could click Fade Away. So I could do a little bit of... Why would he swap your snack in on a Murray? Very interesting. Yes, you could have Shadow Sprint, but... 
It's your, your snack. Do you expect your snack to do damage to me? No. <laughs> Wow, let's see how much it does. Okay, it does get rid of my item. That does kind of stink, but it's not the end of the world. I get a fade away off to a ton of damage. And now... Okay, I thought I was going to do a little more than that. I can bring Tyronix in, though. I can threaten out the Yer snack with this, so that's good. So yeah, no more health amulet. That does kind of stink, but I think we'll be okay. You can't go into anything. And we also get to scout if you have your Tyronix or not. We get to scout your Tyronic, so this is good. In the future, Tank is going to get nerfed, so when the barbs are on the field, it will actually take damage from it in the future, and it will lose its tank. So, I can't wait for that nerf, because that'll be huge. He, I, he just probably went for Baffle. Oh, he just clicked Slap Down. Okay. Again, I don't know why you're staying in on a Tyronix when you're literally that low. Alright, I'll go for another Nova Blast then. Slapped out. Into Mocho. Awesome. Into Mocho. I just need to find a good matchup to get my Shyanta in. Maybe a fadeaway will do it. Oh, I know why. Our enchantment was up. That's why I didn't do that much damage. There. That's why I didn't do that much damage. Alright. Going to Murray. He goes for Frost Beam, which will do nothing. I can fade away. Because it's the best play to make. Your enchantment's also gone. So yeah, we go for the fade away. No reason why not to fade away here. Here we go. Go for the fade away. This thing does have boom bash though. It's a problem. Okay, swap into. No, what's the one thing I didn't want to find? This is the one thing I didn't want to really battle. Okay, this is the one thing I kind of didn't want to battle. Or, although if he stays in again, I might be able to chip it. Please just attack me so I can chip you. Okay, that's awesome, actually. I lived that. Yeah, I lived that. Barely. I barely lived that. I very, very, verily, barely lived that. And Tyronix is dead! Tyronix is dead! Tyronix is dead! That's massive. Tyronix being dead is massive. Who does he go into? Your snack? What are you gonna do? Shadow Sprint? I don't care. I don't care about your Shadow Sprint. I could technically save this for Shadow Sprint myself, but there's kind of no reason to. I'm just going to go for Shadow Sprint. No, I outsped my Shadow Sprint. Dang! Darn you, you outsped my Shadow Sprint. Okay. Uh... I'll go in the Shyanta. Shyanta, you're coming in. And I'm going to go for a Brawn Boost. Please swap out. Swap out. No, it is barbs. What am I thinking? He has barbs. The slap down should not Oko me, even though I'm tender. But it's a your snack, guys. Your snack's not gonna do that much. Like to be honest here, your snack's not gonna do that much. It baffled, actually. That's interesting. It baffled. That's very interesting. I didn't I'm shocked it didn't just attack me or swap out. Don't go mocho. It went Dokomore. Which takes damage. I can go for another Brawn Boost. Because you don't do a lot of damage to me. So I will go for another Brawn Boost. I don't care about getting baffled. Because he doesn't know what set I run. Eh, 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 eh. Earthquake. That's a decent chunk. But I can get the plus six. And then I can light dash my way to victory. Oh my gosh, this is perfect. I don't think he's going to have any way to stop this. I never thought I would get the plus six in a battle. But yeah, let's get the plus six. We're at plus six now. There's nothing he can do. Baneful Bash, don't poison. It didn't. Awesome. Light Dash. Get out of here, Dokamore. Now you might be screwed. You might be in trouble unless you have Quick Punch on your Your Snack. Which, no Your Snacks run that. Unless this one I battle do does. We'll see, though. No, I don't speed it anyway because I have priority. What am I talking about? I have priority new. Yeah, he's dead. There's nothing he can do against this. This is... This is a sweep. This is a priority Giantta sweep. Because we go for the light dash that KOs you. I am baffled, so I think I under speed after baffle. So, yeah. Plus six. Plus six KOs you. And, yeah, I think Giantta with the priority moves will sweep. I didn't expect it to do this good, honestly. I thought it was going to struggle. I think the problem is it's trying to get the setup. You got to get to, like, plus two or plus four in order for the priority moves to hit that hard. 
But it's doing very good here. I was able to actually get it up to plus four. And his last one is the Cleone, which the Cleone is already pretty low. I can just quick pounce it. So yeah, Cleone takes a little damage, and everything is chipped out, worked out perfectly. That was probably the best battle I'm ever going to get with Shianta, and this is battle number one. Let's head into battle number two with it. All right, battle number two with Shianta. And unfortunately, people in the comments did say that I'm using Light Dash, so it might be very tough to use this, especially with a Mirafe. Mirafe is not good. And Chironix! Again, another Chironix! That really sucks. Although against everything else, it's not the worst. Bring you for the Himber. Not for the Arcelos, but yeah, bring you for just the Himber. Can't really hit Mirafe neither. So yeah, Mirafe is going to be a nightmare. I don't really have anything for it, so... Mirafe, again, is going to be very tough to beat. Gonna bring you. Kind of want to bring my Chironix against his Chironix, but... I don't think it's the best. I think I'm going to lead off with you. No, I'm going to lead off... He's going to try to lead traps with Himber, I think. So I'm going to lead off with Scampy. And see if I can do a ton of damage right away. Because I think that's what I need. I need a lot of damage. He leads off with... Himber. And you're trying to place... Icicle Traps. Which I can't really deal with because I didn't bring Chartik again. But I'm willing to make this play to try to do some damage. Or he swaps into something else, like... Charonix. You know what? That's not terrible. I two shot you with Battering Ram. So that's not terrible, honestly. I two shot you, right? Oh, easily two shot. Nova, don't one shot. Okay, well, beat me next turn. So, you know what we do? We go into Crab Tana. No, we go Marafe on the Light Speed Ray. We go Marafe on Light Speed. So, yep. I'll go into you on the light speed, Ray. Oh, he just went Nova again. I could have KO'd it. Crud, I could have just KO'd it. I didn't think it was going to do that. I'll go for a shot. No, I'll go for a reflection burst. Gotta play it safe. Plus, yeah, he does have spectral burst on his Marave, of course. Thank gosh I didn't click shatter. I would have screwed myself up there. Well, Trionix is dead. That's really good to have out of the picture. Although I don't have any barbs up. And my Scampy's down to 20 health, which isn't enough for a Himber swap in, which is bad. So Himber comes back in, and I have no swap ins for it. Himber comes back in, and I have no swap ins for it. Yeah, really no swap ins for it. I don't live in Earthquake neither. I guess I could go Scampy and then go for a Rogue Assault. That's kind of it. That's kind of all I have. So that's what I'll do. That will be what I do, actually. But I'm dead. I think I'm dead on Scampy. Unfortunately, I was too low from the Chironix. But we can go Craptana. Okay. Is it gonna go Marae? You're gonna go Marae. Let's be honest here. You're gonna go Marae. Especially if you watch my videos. You know that this is Vengeance. Problem is, the water move does not KO it all the way. So I might have just, so if he stays in, if he's rageful plushy, his Timber can just win right off the bat. Yeah. I was trying to predict Murray. And of course, he also critical hit me. Sorry I had the pop-up happen, but this battle is over. There's no way I win this battle anymore. I'm just going to go for a quick punt. I'm just going to go for a mega punch just to KO the Himber. But... It's not looking good. This battle's really not looking good. We're in trouble. Us losing Kraptana, pretty much just... Especially if he has Murray, it's pretty much the end of us. So, that really sucks. I guess Zeflin could still kind of beat it, but not really. So, that ain't great. Goes Helvantic. Unfortunately, Helvantic kind of kicks my behind. With Gnarly Dash. I guess I can go Marafe and then Shadow Sprint it. But I'm screwed. If this is Boots, I'm screwed. Okay. Can't tell if that's Boots or Pitch Black. Kinda can't tell. Shadow Sprint, do damage. That's kind of all I can really do at this rate and hope for the best. Do damage and hope for the best. That's kind of all you can do. And hope you don't have Marafe. 
Because if you have Marath, I'm totally dead. Jeez, that did like no damage. If your boots, my Zeppelin should outspeed you. Oh my gosh. Okay. Eh. This ain't good at all, actually. This is bad. If this crits me, I'm dead. I'm just dead from the Hellvantic. I'm just dead from the Hellvantic. Yeah. This is the case. Let's see. Okay, don't crit. Don't crit. Don't crit. Don't crit. Don't crit. Yes, didn't crit. But the Hellvantic's dead. I'm so scared about that Moray. Is that Moray? That Moray is probably his last one. Oh, is Drago dying? Why do you have him? Why Drago dying? I know your last one's Marais. I know what you're doing. Draco B. It missed! Okay, okay, okay. Will Light Dash be enough to KO it? Probably not. I need a Brawn boost. I know it's Helvantic's boots, though. I know that it's Helvantic's boots. So I have to click like that. So I gotta just at least damage the Drago. His last one's Marae, right? His last ones are Celos, actually. Hold on a second. His last ones are Celos. Can I live one hit? I'm tender is the problem. Can I live one hit? I do. Oh my gosh, this thing might just clean up. This thing might just clean up. Oh my gosh, this thing might just clean up. Is this thing just gonna clean up? Is, is Priority Chianta actually just gonna win me a battle here? Is plus two enough for Drago? Don't be Clutch Flushy. Don't be Clutch Flushy. It's gonna be Clutch Flushy. And it's gonna get a Mega Crit that somehow crits the Lumion in my other area. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is insane! It's two amazing battles! Two awesome battles. We're gonna try one more. With Gianta. Ah, oh, three Tyronixes. Are you kidding? Three Tyronixes in one video. Despite that though, it still have been it still has been doing pretty good, which is good. But as for everything else, there's another Yur snack as well, so that's interesting. Bring you Al He has no barbs. He has no barb centers, but he has poison. He can't poison stuff. Uh Scampy's kind of bad in this battle, although it could be good for that, but that's kind of it. Not gonna have my Crab Tana die right away, hopefully. And the last thing will be the Chartiki, I think. But I could also bring you and beat that. I kind of need you for the Crackalola, because Crackalola is actually kind of tough to beat now. Especially if that's the Soul Burst. He leads with Fishkarna. That's actually the perfect lead. That's actually the perfect lead, because Shatter, I can Shatter, and I believe the Shatter goes through its Rika, so I don't actually take damage from the barbs. It's actually setting up Peace of Mind on a Marae. Okay, that's not good. But I Shatter it, do some damage. I can get out, I'll go for the Fade Away. Fade Away out. No, it mudslides. And it did that much. Wow, it did that much. Kind of crazy. But, it's now low. I can go into my Shianta and threaten this Fishkarna. So that's good. I can actually threaten this thing out. I'll go for the Light Dash. I'm going... Oh, I, I, I should have just clicked Mega Punch. If I actually clicked Mega Punch, I would have actually not showed my set. I showed my set too early. Yeah, I shown my set too early. That's not good. But I get a lot of I get a decent amount of damage. I gotta get the plus four in order to get rid of that, it looks like. I'm gonna go for the Marae again. I'm kinda not sure what to do here with Marae. Could still be good for the Fish Karna. But Fish Karna has mudslide and just Oko's me anyway, so. I'm just gonna stay in and go for a Shadow Sprint. Even though this is kind of my only thing for Tyronix, I think I have other stuff for it this time. So yeah, I'm just going to Shadow Sprint, do a little damage, a little extra chip, that, KO, that KOs me. I'm Boots, and judging by that play, I think his is also Boots. Yeah, it's aggressive, so I think this thing is also special for Boots. 
So, Craptana is basically free. And he can't go... He can't go Crack Lola. He can't even go Fish Karna, because Fish Karna dies in two wave records. So, he can't even go Fish Karna. He's in a pretty bad situation, actually. Vengeance Craptana looks awesome in this battle. If I could chip everything else, if I can get rid of that Charonix and get a Brawn Boost up on my Shienta, we might be able to sweep yet again. Unfortunately, I don't have any layers of barbs this time, so I am kind of held back. I mean, if he watches my videos, he knows that I run a Boost Craptana. If not, there's a potential Drudge chance. Let's see, though. I think he knows. How much will this actually do? That's not going to KO, I don't think. That's not going to be enough, I don't think. I don't think that's enough. I'm going to have to go Zeppelin and still get hit, unfortunately. That sucks. That actually really sucks. That really sucks, actually. I have to go Zeppelin. I thought I was going to do a little more than that. If I went for the Brawler move, it would have done way more. Poison on Zeppelin. That isn't the worst, actually. That actually isn't the worst. I'm going to go for the Mudslide to predict the swap. It is low enough, if, even if he stays in and goes for an attacking move. He is low enough, but he is in priority range for Shienta to beat it. So, I'm not in a bad spot with Garbantis at all. I think I'm going to be okay. Go Helvantis. He went Charonix on a Zeppelin. I could have resonated and done a ton of damage. And instead, that happened. Sorry, the pop-up happened again, but I resonate it, and I think I'm dead. I live. The point. That's massive, actually. The fact that I didn't die to that didn't give it Reaper Boost, meaning Brawn Boost. 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 He went Helvantic. But I'm at plus four now. I'm at plus four. And he's thinking, I got specialty boots. I got light. Dash! Get on out of here, Helvantic! Oh my gosh, you might get three amazing battles in a row of Shienta. Oh my gosh, you might get three of them. His Garbantis is too low. There's Crack Lola. Crack Lola could have Dark Surge. I'm gonna go for Light Dash in case it goes for Soul Burst. He's not Soul Bursting, I could have Mega Punch. I did that much though. Magma Burst? Live! Don't burn! Live! Don't burn! Lived! Didn't burn. Like that. We might just win. We might just win. We might just win again with priority Shyanta. Is this good? Is this set actually good? Or am I just getting lucky? Is this... Am I playing this right and it's doing well? Or is this set actually good? Because I don't know. I honestly don't know. So Garbantis is dead. Oh my gosh. Like, the thing is, priority moves only do 31 with power cuff. So, if you get two brawn boost, you could actually be insane. I, I cannot believe this. I cannot believe that it's actually doing this well. Gonna go for the quick pounce. Oh, again, you could be the... You could be prismatic. And I'll be very sad. I'm at plus four. And his Tyronix is pretty low. Oh, he knows. He knows what I'm doing. But there should be enough for four priority moves, I hope. Yeah, I have enough for two more. That's what the energy is. Two Brawn Boost and seven moves. That was the plan. There's Tyronix again. Again, just go for the... Go for the Quick Pounce again. Get on out of here, Tyronix. Oh my goodness, this is insane. This is up... This is insane. This Chianta set might be the best one. It might be the best one. It might be. I'm, I'm serious. We'll go for Light Dash. Since it's the last thing I have left. He could go for Soul Burst as well. So it is the best play to make. Yeah, it goes into his Soul Burst, but he's weak to Light now. So the Soul Burst isn't going to really help him too much. It actually hurts him. Although, Soul Burst Crack Lola is kind of nuts. I've watched Scorch use it a lot, and that thing can actually be nuts. So I kind of want to make a brand new showcase for it. 
Because I know this thing can be very bulky. I must have used it wrong before. So, this should KO it. Although, it does get a little bit, but now you're weak to light dash, so get on out of here. Oh my gosh. Brawn boost priority, Shianta? Honestly, I don't know how to feel about it. It might honestly be the best set. It might honestly be the best set. This thing absolutely destroyed. I can't believe it. This thing destroyed it today. It far exceeded my expectations. And I want y'all to try it yourselves. Is this thing actually that good? Or did I just get lucky? It could be both. Although then again, I did also see three Tyronixes. The Lumion I kind of didn't want to see today. And yet we still worked out. So who knows? Hope you guys enjoyed this video of me using priority on Shianta. And I'll see y'all all later. Bye-bye!